Hey, Fred from the Laptop Barn here. Today we're going to go through the steps necessary to install a new battery in a Dell Precision 7550 laptop. The battery that we are replacing is a model C903V, another model that works is the PKWVM. Those are 68 watt hour versions. I buy them right on eBay, you know, 30, $40 range. There's a cable involved also, you can uh, reuse that cable. The only tools you're gonna need is a screwdriver and a little pry tool. We'll show you in a minute what I'm gonna do with that pry tool. That's all you'll need. This is the Precision 7550. This is a pretty simple procedure. All you're gonna need to do is turn it upside down and we're gonna take the bottom, the bottom plate off. So you're gonna remove the screws around the perimeter. Phillips screws, um, I think there's eight of them all together. They're, uh, it's a pretty good design. They, uh, they're easy to get at. We'll use a number one Phillips screwdriver. And uh, once you get the screws undone, that bottom case assembly snaps off. So that you need the pry tool just to get it started. Um, that's all there is to getting inside this. Get those screws off. Now, um, now you got to just find a place anywhere around the perimeter to do the prying with. It's just a matter of getting it started. All, all it is is two pieces of plastic snapped together. You, uh, there always is a tendency to try to be careful with them, but um, it um, you can see there it started to come apart. Just got to get it in a position where you can kind of pry. You could use a screwdriver, but just be careful you don't touch anything inside as far as electrical components. But it's uh, basically just two pieces of plastic that are snapped together now that you've got those screws out. Of course, I'm having a little trouble there. Get my fingers in there. <laughs> you know, I just usually I get started at one of the corners. Just find a, an opening between the two and pry them apart. There we go. Just snaps off. And now the insides, including that battery compartment, are exposed. And all you're going to do is locate that uh, locate the battery which is right there in front of you there's a cable that's plugged into the motherboard and all you do is pull up on it and it unplugs again you can take this cable off your old battery and put it on the new battery sometimes you can buy a new battery it won't come with a cable but the cable should be perfectly fine now you undo the couple of screws that are holding it along the top edge there and the battery will use a can't get my fingers then I use the pry tool and it just pops right out there you go that's the battery that cable again you could take that off and use it on your new battery it plugs into the battery and to the motherboard so, what we're going to do is get our new battery, put the cable on it, or it may have came with a cable, either way, and then you're going to plug that connector into the motherboard. It just pushes on. If you've got it on there right, it'll just push on real easily. Don't force it. Locate the battery on the front and then snaps down, just like I did that there. The screws are along the inner edge. There's plastic tabs that hold it along the outer edge. And now you put the screws in. And there you go, fasten those in. Make sure you remember which holes you took them out of because there are some other holes there that don't take a screw at this point. In the assembly process okay now you've got the, the screws in and really you're got the battery reassembled now sometimes I'll turn it on right at this point before I put the bottom cover on but for demonstration purposes I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to put the bottom cover on 
going to make sure you got it the right way and it will just uh, you'll see there's uh, openings for the port tell you which is the right side and it fits on the front and then all right kind of hook it on the uh, one side if, and then it just pops right down to you the very well designed part just snaps right in now it as soon as you've got it located these uh, screws that hold the base on you go around and assemble all of them this is a pretty slick design again sometimes I'll go ahead and power it up before I put that base on just if you had a problem then you wouldn't have to totally take the base off just be careful when you turn it over don't have it sitting on anything metal but that's all there is to it um, hope you enjoyed this and it helped you out pretty simple process um, if you like this video, hit us with a like. Subscribe to our channel. We're all the time coming up with tips and tricks to help out our customers that buy laptops from us on eBay. And that's it. Good luck now with everything you do. If you have any questions, drop them below. Fred from the Laptop Barn, over and out.